we're introducing the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and you should worship him that will listen that will become the new norm Holy Ghost your God in the earth today Holy Ghost your God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today to walk in him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Second Chronicles 16, 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole what? Where's this happening? In the, earth. in the earth. Where are you? On the earth. You're on the earth, right? Yep. Who's God in the earth today? Holy Ghost. Who must this be talking about? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. The eyes of the Lord God, the Holy Ghost, run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself. Say to show himself. Show himself. Are you saying the Holy Ghost wants to show himself yes. yeah he wants to reveal himself say reveal himself. reveal himself he wants to show himself but then he goes on and he says what to show himself strong so he's showing himself mm -hmm. strong in behalf of those whose hearts are perfect toward him mm -hmm. say perfect towards him perfect. Well, if you're going to be perfect towards him, you got to know who he is. Mm -hmm. There is a God in the earth today, and his name is the Holy Ghost. He's the Spirit Lord. He's the one Jesus sent into the earth to be with you. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Yes. yes. Who's God in the earth today? Holy Ghost. Who did Jesus send to be with you? Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. He said he will come well he's a he he's a person he's in the earth mm -hmm. and he's looking to show himself to who to you because he wants to show himself being strong towards you if your heart is perfect towards him yeah. how is your heart gonna be perfect towards him if you don't even know who he is That's right. now you don't have to like me not everybody's gonna like you not everybody's gonna like me I get that but I have to say what I know about the Holy Ghost that he is God in the earth and he's the Spirit Lord yes. say he's the Spirit Lord he's the Spirit well I've never heard anything like that before well you're not the only one who's never heard that I have people write to me often saying the same thing why haven't I heard this before and I wish I'd have known this listen I wish I'd have known this 40 years ago where would you be now things would be different you'd be in a different place say I'd be, I'd be. in a different place because you would have 40 years with the Lord Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord showing himself strong on your behalf so like me or not I'm introducing you to the Spirit Lord we wish this would have happened 40 years ago but it didn't so welcome to now Amen. 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 17 now welcome to now now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is literally it says where the Spirit Lord is there is Liberty so if you know the Spirit Lord you have Liberty mm -hmm. and a kind of Liberty that other people can't have if they don't know him the Holy Ghost as the Spirit Lord That's right. if he's gonna show himself one of the ways he will show himself to you is that he is the Spirit Lord welcome to now I'm introducing him to you as the Spirit Lord verse 18 but we all with open face beholding 
him as in a glass the glory of the Lord him again are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit says of the Lord but it literally says the Spirit Lord we're changed by knowing him as the Spirit Lord now the Lord well many say I wish I knew this years ago no one ever told me about him and I can say the same thing in all the years and I've been around for a while in all the years that I've been around nobody even mentioned that there was a spirit Lord mm -hmm. they would talk about the Holy Ghost but generally they were talking about the anointing things that the anointing would do but they never said spirit Lord mm -hmm. and I wrestled with this for a while because after after knowing this and coming into this knowledge of him say knowledge of him no. I'm knowing him I'm walking with him he's showing himself to me mm -hmm. I started to get a little bit resentful towards the people that I came up under because I mean I learned a lot under them but they never mentioned him right. yes they mentioned the Holy Ghost but again it was not it was in the context of the anointing mm -hmm. well no one ever told me about him the Spirit Lord but I know this now now mm -hmm. and I refuse to deny him who he is isn't this fun I'm going to say some things one of my early mentors God bless him dad Hagen Kenneth E Hagen great man of God came up under him learned tons of stuff and he used to say regularly that most people wouldn't know the Holy Ghost if he came into the room with a red hat on he would say that and we'd all go yeah yeah I <laughs> wouldn't know it mm. unfortunately he was talking about the anointing but the Holy Ghost is not the anointing no. say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, not is not the anointing, the anointing. Jesus said the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he hath anointed me Jesus knew the Spirit of the Lord had anointed him well none of my word of faith brothers dare to go here receiving the Holy Ghost as God in the earth and worshiping him using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is this fun yet feels feels pretty good none of them would go here and still don't this is different this is different than the anointing we don't worship the anointing duh that's what they'd say if I say you got to worship the Holy Ghost as God they'd say oh we don't worship the anointing I'm not worshiping the anointing I'm worshiping the one who came into the earth who is the Spirit Lord who is God in the earth today that I walk with that Jesus sent to be with me the Holy Ghost is not an anointing he says tell them I am NOT an anointing so there you go tell them I am NOT an anointing how insulting seriously mm -hmm. he's a person he's the Spirit Lord he has anointings he has gifts mm -hmm. but even now they refuse to worship him as God and therefore they are not going to where I am going we're going somewhere you know that right mm -hmm. worshiping the Holy Ghost as God takes you somewhere that if you didn't worship him you don't go does this make sense yes well my brothers in the word of faith specifically and you know I can talk about them because that's the household I came up in they have an ever-increasing expansion of anointing and ministry I know because I've been there can you see this the anointing continues to expand the ministry continues to expand but they don't worship the Spirit Lord 
their God and him only serve those words don't come up in those circles so as far as they expand and as far as their ministry grows they still don't go here are you here they don't worship the spirit lord and therefore they can't go to where worshiping him takes you it's a different place well they don't worship the spirit lord their god and him only serve how can they when they don't even mention him as the spirit lord let alone worship him if worship takes you someplace that non worshipers can't go, mm -hmm. then if they're not worshiping Him, they don't go there. Well, I'm worshiping and serving the Spirit, Lord my God. This is different. Yeah. Are you here? Yes. I'm not demeaning or saying anything against my brothers that, that preach faith in the word you understand that right I'm not saying that I'm saying we're going to a different place than that and their ministry can expand and their anointings in those ministries can expand but it will never in a million years take them to where this is taking us can you sense that do you know that it's palpable to me I can eat pieces of it if you don't worship him you don't really know what I'm talking about you think you know it all you think you have all the doctrine straight I'm telling you you got so little of the doctrine straight if you don't know him as God and worship him he's the teacher he's the one who straightens out all your doctrine right. if you don't worship him you can't really know what I'm talking about do you worship the Holy Ghost does your pastor worship the Holy Ghost if he does he can go here where we're talking about tonight it's the knowledge of the Spirit Lord I hope you can hear this it's the knowledge of the Spirit Lord that shall fill the earth he's going to and fro to show himself who the Spirit Lord so it's the knowledge of the Spirit Lord that shall fill the earth imagine if you will a string that you could pull on that would cause something to collapse just one string you pull on it and the whole structure just goes but imagine a huge edifice that if there was a string and you just knew which particular string to pull and you pull that string say you pull that string, pull that string. and the whole edifice collapses mm -hmm. I'm pulling that string can you see who I am Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9 then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said unto me behold I have put my words in your mouth verse 10 see I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant we can see four of those things looked like destruction was the Spirit of the Lord destroying things he had to destroy the bad things in order to build the good thing on it mm -hmm. you ever hear and this happens a lot around here especially on the coast where you have people they'll take a small house because they have to build on the same spot mm -hmm. they'll just raise the house just get rid of it and then they'll build a brand new house on it rather than try to fix up the old house why because it would cost more to fix up the old house they just get rid of it mm -hmm. they pull the string on it so we can see here that the Holy Ghost is destroying things <laughs> and tearing down things and rooting out things rooting out deeply embedded doctrine 
that's what you root out something that's deeply embedded mm -hmm. right yeah. tearing down structures man-made structures mm -hmm. that they've built and that they think about God he has to tear them down he has to tear them down he has to tear them down in order to build and plant the right thing there Holy Ghost said to me if I destroy I prosper talking to me <laughs> if I destroy I prosper your ministry is destructive well I am set to destroy many things but by the Word of God we see that Jeremiah did this by the word of the Holy Ghost by the word of the Spirit Lord he was doing this had to destroy things in order to build the right thing say so he had to destroy things, had to destroy in, things. Order to in order to build the right thing this will make sense in a minute what's the difference between a businessman and an entrepreneur the online dictionary says an entrepreneur is the owner or manager of a business enterprise who by risk and initiative attempts to make a profit I have a problem with that that is simply what a businessman is that's what business people do so you had to go back farther say go back farther, go back farther. an economist Joseph Schumpter in 1883 he describes the role of an entrepreneur as creative destruction someone who creates things that destroys other things by introducing new products or services he destroys the existing convention and his innovations become the new norm mm -hmm. we're introducing the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and you should worship him that will listen that will become the new norm now it looks like it's destroying things it is it's destroying the old garbage that's been keeping you back well we disrupt and then we build and then we plant a lot of things need to be destroyed you can't actively listen and hear what i'm saying and continue on with business as usual you can't actively hear and listen to me and continue on in the same path that you've been in before if someone does that they're a liar I'm not going to prophesy about the disruption that is to come although I could people like that oh prophesy about what the destruction that is to come or the disruption that is to come I'm not gonna prophesy about it we are doing it say we, we are, doing it. are doing it your life as a Holy Ghost worshiper one who knows the Spirit Lord and worships him disrupts the old convention disrupts the old norm now they got to do something with you what do I do I will either join you or cast you out mm -hmm. I don't care either way because I know him the Spirit Lord there is a new religious experience that only comes through worshiping the Holy Ghost and knowing him as the Spirit Lord what is it that we're supposed to do to fulfill everything the Spirit Lord wants us to fulfill say pre sin, pre -sin. you know what pre sin is the time before sin that's what we're being reestablished into what did they do pre sin they walked with the Spirit Lord as God in the earth mm -hmm. in the cool of the day you'll be cool what is it that we are supposed to fulfill with the Spirit Lord in this day Acts chapter 3 verse 19 
repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord say times, times. Of, refreshing of refreshing from the presence, from the presence of, the Lord. of the Lord the Lord who Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost good for you because most people don't think that the presence of the Lord read on verse 20 and he shall send Jesus say he, he shall send Jesus did it say Jesus shall send himself no. no he the presence of the Lord he shall send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you verse 21 whom the heaven must receive and other translations say retain the heaven must receive and retain him until the times of the restitution of all things are you here it looks like we got our job cut out for us but you will never get there without knowing the Holy Ghost as the Spirit Lord and walking with him as God in the earth today and the refreshing and presence that comes from him when the time is fulfilled he shall send Jesus is this in your Bible well that's where I'm going and you're welcome to join me this is where we're going Holy Ghost I pray for these people I thank you that you have blessed them and that these words have not only ministered to them but have planted a seed of change and that change shall increase and cause a manifestation the like of which they had never thought could happen or be but it's a new day says the Spirit of the Lord a new day where your eyes can be opened and they haven't been before a new day where the eyes will see the future and that that future is today and so rise up and take your place and position with me as God in the earth today we worship you Holy Ghost I thank you that you have blessed us and anointed us for this bare, very purpose this very day we're honored and we worship you in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you you are a God of wealth and I learned to walk with you as that God of wealth and as I do I increase more and more greater and greater into super abundance the God kind of wealth that I was created to live in I worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen Jesus and his right hand Holy Ghost your God